it looks like we've had a couple more friends join us. Yay! Awesome! So, good morning, everyone. My name is Mr. Jason. I am an early literacy specialist here with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Libraries. And today is family story time with Zoo Tampa. How cool is that, that we are doing a wonderful partnership with a local community partner. I am so excited. We are doing this as um, a project through the Institute of Museum and Library Services. So this is a great way of doing fun things and doing it at home. So look at that barn owl. Look at those great big eyes. Did you know that sight is one of the five senses that we all have? So can you name the five senses? There's hearing with our ears. They're seeing with our eyes. They're tasting with our mouth. They're smelling with our nose. And last but not least, they're touching with our fingers and our toes. So our five senses help us get around in the world. And look at this great barn owl that's in front of us. They have huge eyes that allow them to see in the dark and during the daylight. How cool is that? As always, we want to share a great resource that we have here at the library and his amazing animal senses. You can check this out on our website, hcplc.org slash ebooks. Check out Amazing Animal Senses and all of those animal superpowers. It's a great series for you and your littles. We always want you to uh, know that reading constantly during the five primary uh, foundational years are crucial for kindergarten and for learning um, experiences but also you know development of the little ones so read to your books and get prizes thousand books before kindergarten go to our website check it out acplc.org slash kids thousand books before kindergarten now before we get too far into this i want to sing a song why because i love to sing now i have a terrible singing voice that's okay we're going to sing anyway so this is how it goes hello Hello, hello, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Now everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Now everybody clap your hands. Come on, let's clap those hands. Good job, everyone. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Are you ready to read our very first book? Because I am. So I'm going to take my camera down so that you can actually see the book a little bit better. And this book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this is by Eric Carl published by the world of Eric Carl. The very hungry caterpillar. Are you hungry this morning? So in the light of the moon, a little bitty egg lay on a leaf. Oh, look at that teeny, tiny egg on that leaf. Can you imagine how tiny that is? Oh, and it's under the moon. Look at the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and whoop, out of the egg came a teeny, tiny, and very hungry caterpillar. Oh, look at that big sun. Is that what you see outside of your window? Do you have a big sun outside? Oh, do you see any animals outside also? Maybe some bugs or caterpillars? or geckos, or ants, or how about a kitty cat? The caterpillar started to look for some food. He was super hungry. I wonder what he's gonna find. Oh, 
So on Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still very hungry. I wonder if he's going to eat through the rest of those. Which one is the apple? Can you point to the apple? Good job. That's right. It's the one on the far left. Nom, 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 nom. And on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Can you point to the two pears and count them with me? One, two, two green pears. But he was still hungry. And on Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Let's count these plums. One, two, three. Three plums. But this caterpillar was hungry still. On Thursday, he ate through four of my favorite fruits ever. And that are strawberries. No, 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 no. Let's count the red strawberries. One, two, three, four. Four red strawberries. Did you know that that caterpillar was still hungry? Can you imagine eating all of these fruits and still being hungry? <gasps> no, 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 no. And on Friday, he ate through five whole oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Five whole oranges. And yet he was still hungry. No, 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 no. And then Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, and a whole piece of cherry pie. Can you imagine eating all of that? <gasps> There's a sausage, a cupcake, and a watermelon. Ooh. That night he had such a tummy ache. Can you imagine eating all of that food? I can't. That's a lot of food. <gasps> Nom, 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 nom. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And afterwards, he felt much better. Woo. But, oh, look how fat that caterpillar was. He wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't really even a caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, full caterpillar. So he built himself a nice house, and it's called a cocoon, all around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, and he pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> Did you know caterpillars become beautiful butterflies? <gasps> How cool is that? Look at all those beautiful colors from all of the fruits that he ate. I see green and yellow and purple and pink and red. Oh my goodness, look at the beautiful butterfly. Oh, that was such a great book. Oh, I, that truly is one of my favorite books of all time, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'll make sure I put that in the chat at the end so that you can check that out on your own. But now let's sing a song all about our senses. We want to talk about those five senses. Do you remember what those five senses were? That's right. Good job, everyone. We can hear. We can see. We can smell. We can taste. And we can touch. So, this is a great song to talk about all of those five senses. Are you ready? 
We use our tongues to taste. We use our tongues to taste. We taste the flavors in our food. We use our tongues to taste. Oh my goodness, it's to the tune of Hi Ho, the Merrily We Go. I bet you know that song. So let's all sing these together. We're first going to do taste with our tongues. Then we're going to do eyes with our uh, seeing with our eyes. Then we're going to touch with our hands. We're going to smell with our noses. And we're going to hear really hard with our ears. Are you ready to sing with me? I'm ready. Let's go. We use our tongues to taste. We use our tongues to taste. We taste the flavors in our food. We use our tongues to taste. We use our eyes to see. We use our eyes to see. We see all the colors around. We use our eyes to see. We use our hands to touch. We use our hands to touch. We touch these things both smooth and rough. We use our hands to touch. We use our noses to smell. We use our noses to smell. We smell flowers and our food. Yum. We use our noses to smell. We use our ears to hear. We use our ears to hear. We hear noises loud. We use our ears to hear. Good job, everyone. That was so much fun. Maybe you can figure out all the things that you can taste, see, touch, smell, and hear throughout the week. I bet that would be a lot of fun for you to do with you and your parents and um, your whole family. So see what you can taste, see, touch, smell, and hear. All righty, so let's stretch way up high with our fingers. Oh, good job. Now, everyone, let's reach all the way down with our fingers and touch the floor. Oh, my goodness. Good job. Now, let's reach towards the window. Oh, that is a good stretch. Now, let's stretch the other side to the door. Oh. Oh, good night. That is a good stretch. Now let's put our hands together and sit on the floor. We're going to close our mouths. We're going to open our ears and we're going to listen to our very next story. This one is called Pinky Got Out. And this is by Michael Portis and it's illustrated by Lori Richmond. And it is published by Crown Books for Young Readers. We're reading this for, with permission from Penguin Random House. I took my camera down so that you can see the pages a little bit easier. Let's see how Pinky the Flamingo got out. Pinky got out. Welcome to the zoo. Showing you around is my favorite thing to do, said the zookeeper. These birds always stick together. So today, be like a flamingo and stay with your flock. Hold it, wait. Uh-uh. Kenny noticed. <gasps> Look at Pinky. He's flying above. He's not with the rest of the flock. Throughout the book, see if you can see where Pinky's hiding. <gasps> Next to the meerkats, explained the zookeeper. Some forage for food while the scouts watch out for trouble. <gasps> Oh no! Pinky got out, said Pink said Penny. Can you find Pinky? Point to Pinky. Good job. You have super eyesight. Now, some seals hold their breath while they sleep underwater. Can you imagine sleeping underwater? said the zookeeper. Ooh, look. Can you find Pinky in this picture? Pinky got out, said Penny. Do you see Pinky's feet? Oh, have you seen Pinky? asked Penny. Who? asked Mia. Pinky. Where's Pinky? 
Pinky in this one. Do you think Pinky is swinging with the monkeys? The python can grow as long as a garden hose, said the zookeeper. Pinky! Said Zoe. Oh no, Penny! He got out! Is he giving that snake a hug? Is he giving that snake a hug? What do snakes say? Do they go, there's Pinky. Pinky's really getting around. What are those animals that you see? They're yellow and brown, and they have really long necks. Oh my goodness, that's right. They're called giraffes. And the zookeeper said, don't be silly. Pinky's not there. This is only for giraffes. Do you see Pinky? I think I do. Look really hard. <gasps> there he is. <gasps> this one's super hard to find Pinky, but what happened to Pinky? Asked Ike. We lost him, said Penny. Can you find Pinky? This one is super hard. But now, what are those black and white animals called? Does anyone know? Oh my goodness, you're so smart. How did you know those are called pandas? You're right. It's a myth that ostriches stick their heads in the sand to hide, said the zookeepers. Sometimes it looks that way when they're finding food. Do you think Pinky is looking for the same food as the ostriches? No, I don't think so either. I think Pinky has a better idea. Pinky got out, said Penny. He's in the ice cream. Oh my goodness, look at all of that delicious ice cream. And all of the kids taking pictures with, I see a lion, a tiger, a tortoise, a monkey, an elephant, and a zookeeper. How fun is that? We're going, to, we're coming to the zoo shop. It's the end of our tour. Remember, a flock always stays together. Look at all of those kids going in all together. Does anyone want to say what they learned today? Asked the zookeeper. What do you think you learned? Ooh, you learned a lot today. Pinky got out! Bye, Pinky! Bye, zookeeper! We're going on the bus. Bye-bye! Can you wave? Wave! Wave! Squawk! Said Pinky. But later, that night, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and wait, hold it. Where's Pinky? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count nine flamingos in this picture. Where's Pinky? Is Pinky flying? Squawk! He went to say hi to Penny. How fun was that? I love that book. It is so much fun. But now it is all time for our field trip to the zoo. I'm so excited. We're going to meet with Miss Amanda here in a second. And she's going to talk to us about rhinoceroses, or sometimes they're called rhinos for short. So, yay, let's see what's, oh my goodness, hi, how are you today? Uh-oh, they paused it. I wonder what's going on. I'm hanging out with Jamie here. She is a greater one-horned rhinoceros that resides in Zoo Tampa. Hi, Amanda. Can there we go. Now we can see you. Yeah. We also have 
little Gronk over here. He's Jamie's baby. Today, Jamie's going to be the star of the show, though. Greater one horn rhinos are native to India and Nepal. They are an Asian rhino species. You can see they get their name because they only have one little horn on the top of their head. Each rhino decides the shape of their horn. They'll rub it on stuff just like we file down our fingernails. So Jamie's is a little bit short, a little bit hairy. You can also see she's got this really cool top lip. It's semi prehensile, meaning she uses it just like a hand. See, she can scoop a tiny little piece of food right into her mouth with it. She can also pull a big tree limb in there too. Very handy. And then she tucks it away when she doesn't need it. I'm lucky enough to work with the rhinos pretty much every day. They're very fun. They have big personalities. And we do a lot of training with them, believe it or not. Rhinoceros are very smart animals, capable of learning just like we are. Show them your chompers. Good job. You can see she's got 28 teeth in there, four front teeth, and 24 molars in the back. She's also got some snacks hiding in there as well right now. And greater one horn rhinos love to wallow in the mud. You might be able to see in the background, there's mud everywhere. They use it as sunscreen, bug spray, it's a fun place to cool off, and it really helps protect their skin. These rhinos have the really cool folds. They look very prehistoric, almost like a dinosaur. The folds also help them cool down when it's really hot out, make them look extra cool, but also help them move around. So believe it or not, they can run like 30 miles an hour, which is way faster than humans. Like I said, it's pretty fun working with rhinos. Any excuse to come give them snacks, they are herbivores, so they eat only plant material. Most of their diet is hay, which is just dried grass. They also get some fruits and veggies. Today, Miss Jamie is eating sweet potatoes, apples, and carrots. And then one of their most favorite foods are edible plant material items like tree limbs, bushes, things like that. Jamie Rhino weighs about 3,600 pounds, which means that she needs to eat a lot of fruits and veggies to stay as big as she is. So they pretty much chow down all day long. When she's not lounging in the mud or taking a nap, she's definitely munching on some snacks. Little Bronx behind us is not quite two years old yet. He's kind of letting his mom do her thing right now because she likes to be the star of this encounter. Um, but he's growing like a weed. He's definitely over 2,000 pounds now, and he's not even two years old. So that's a very big toddler. So there are five species of rhino that live around the world. There are two that live in in Africa and there are three that live in Asia. So I think when people think of rhinos most of the time you think about the African rhinos that have the big long pointy horns. These rhinos live in the jungle so their horns aren't so big. They also have the thick folds like we talked about before. So they look a little bit different than the rhinos but believe it or not there are more Asian rhinos than they are African rhinos. All rhinos are herbivores. All of them eat tons of plant material and they're all pretty much similar in size. The greater one horn rhino is one of the tallest rhinos, but they're all large and in charge. Even how though tall? they look Sorry, go ahead. No, how, how tall is Jamie? So Jamie's probably about maybe five foot five. Um, and then Johnny the rhino is actually six foot four. So the male rhino is way bigger than she is. Very cool. And how many, um, you said that Bron is Jamie's um, child, and yes. uh, he's about two years old. How many babies do they have at a time, and how often? 
So rhinos only have one baby at a time. They are pregnant for 16 months, which is a very long wait. The only animal that has a pregnancy longer is the elephant. Um, so everyone's very eager when a baby rhino is on its way. And then um, they tend to have a baby once every maybe four years. Babies need to stay with mom for a while to grow up big and strong before they're capable of going off and doing their own thing. So it's kind of a good wait between each little baby. Jamie's had four babies before. Gronk is the fourth. All the others have grown up and gone off to other zoos around the United States. So cool. And what are their favorite foods? Jamie loves all kinds of fruits and veggies. Believe it or not, these collard greens are one of her most favorite snacks, but she loves the good watermelon or cantaloupe, anything juicy and sweet she's a fan of. Awesome. Let's see here. I'm trying to see all of our questions. Um, how old do rhinos get to be? So they can live into their 40s under human care. Janie is just now 20 years old, so she's about middle age. Um, they don't live quite as long as humans, but they still get pretty old. Like we talked about, the baby is not quite two yet, and then dad is a little bit older. He is in his 30s. Awesome. Um, and let's see here. Uh, what's another question I see? Um, what are the five types of rhinos? This is the, um, the one horned black rhino you said? So Janie is a greater one horned rhino. Um, they're sometimes known as an Indian rhino. Then in Asia, we also have Sumatran rhinos and Javan rhinos. The Javan rhino is the lesser one horned rhino, so they also have two names. And then the African rhinos are black rhinos and white rhinos. Very cool. And do they spend most of their days in um, like mud or do they spend most of their days in the water like a hippopotamus? So these rhinos, it kind of depends on the individual. Jamie Rhino loves the mud way more than Johnny. Johnny Rhino will lounge in the pool all day long. So just like people, each one of them has their own personal preference. But either way, they're always close to water. They love swampy, marshy areas. And what is their um, the closest like relative? So, so believe it. Yeah, believe it or not, their closest relative is a horse. That's because they have an odd number of toes. A horse has one toe on each foot. A rhinoceros has three toes on each foot. They look much more similar to a hippo or an elephant, but both of those animals have an even number of toes. So that's how they're kind of broken up and classified as different subspecies or species of animals based on the number of toes. That's so cool. <laughs> And how many rhinos do you have at Zoo Tampa? So for the greater one horn rhinos, we have three. And then we have a group of white rhinos in the Africa realm as well. I want to say there are six of them. Very cool. And if I was going to come to Zoo Tampa, what is the best time of day to see them? Hmm. Believe it or not, the rhinos are pretty active most of the day. Um, if you check out towards the very end of the day, maybe like 4 o'clock, close to closing, that's a really good opportunity to see Johnny, the adult male rhino, lounging in the pool. Really fun. He'll blow bubbles out of his nose. He has so much fun playing in the water, just like we do. But pretty much, they're so big, you can see them anytime. And you said... Um... In Zoo Tampa, you're located in Africa and Asia, is that correct? That is where the rhinos are. Janie Rhino lives in the Asia area of the zoo, and then the white rhinos live in the Africa area of the zoo. Very right. cool. Awesome. What? Uh, so how good is their eyesight? So believe it or not, their eyesight is not so great. They rely much more on their sense of smell and their sense of hearing. So 
So Jamie Rhino can see me up close. She can see objects that move around. But things that stand still and are far away, she can't really see. So she'll utilize her big fluffy ears to hear. She'll also use that big nose to smell anything that's around. Awesome. And since they're um, herbivores, what is their biggest um, predator? So um, for the most part, rhinos don't have any predators other than humans. They're really impacted um, by wildlife trade and also from deforestation. But in general, they're pretty big. Other animals don't mess with them. Very cool. Well, is there anything else that we should know, Miss Amanda? No, I think we pretty much chatted about most things. Awesome. Thanks well, so for coming here today. No, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been so exciting and interesting to see um, Jamie, the greater one horned uh, Indian rhino. Thank you for letting us join you today and learn all about your animals. Yeah, have a great afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Amanda. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Awesome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and learning all about the Indian rhino. Oh, my goodness. So if you have more questions, feel free to let us know. Um, as always, there is a downloadable activity and coloring pages in the uh, handout section of your um control panel on your right hand side so check out those wonderful activity sheets because they're fun and remember that read write talk sing play read write talk sing play read write talk sing play growing readers day by day Taking the time out every day to read, write, talk, sing, and play with your little ones helps them get ready for kindergarten and school readiness, VBK, and so many other great learning um, experiences. So make sure you spend time every day reading, writing, talking, and singing with your little one. And more books. As always, we want you to make sure you have plenty of books to read to your little one. They have wonderful vocabulary. So check out hcplc.org slash ebooks. Go to our hoopla and check out animal senses, super senses, and more animal senses. There are so many great books out there for you to check out and see and learn about the animals and the world around us. I want to make sure that we always, always, always say thank you. So thank you to Champions for Children, the Sperlino Foundation, Zoo Tampa. And of course, we want to make sure that we say thank you to all of our partners for everything that you've done for us. We are so grateful. If you have any questions, again, reach out to us. But before we do that, let's sing our goodbye song. So the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Please check us out every Thursday evening at 6 for more virtual story times. We have evening story time every Thursday at 6. Or if you can't make that time, it's no problem. Check out our library YouTube page at youtube.com slash Tampa Hills Lib. I want to say thank you. If you want to reach out to us, please reach out to us, hcplc.org, about contact, or go to zootampa.org and find out how you can visit the zoo and see both the Asian in and the African rhinos all on your own. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. I've had an absolute blast learning all about the, um, the great horn Indian rhino. It's so hard for me to remember. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.